Hello and welcome to the Listening Post's unboxing channel on YouTube. Today it is with great pride that I am sharing with you some brand new speakers from Paradigm in their founders range, their founders 40s. These stunning bookshelf speakers are a, a culmination of over 30 years of experience in R&D in our industry. Wonderful bookshelf speakers with brilliant lightweight drive units, exceptional cabinetry, and again, cementing paradigm as being able to produce some of the best and most cost-effective speakers available today. So, let's have a look. Firstly, the bookshelf speakers are relatively large in size, so they are shipped in a carton each. Given the fact they're both identical, we'll put that one off to one side. The speakers themselves, classic paradigm, it doesn't matter how good the speakers are, the packaging is always very, very muted. Brown box, line drawing information about it. On the top, we've got a model and serial number and a scan information and a warning. And please, stop, open from the other end. In other words, roll them over and open from the bottom. We've got scannable information on one side, line drawing again, and then a repeat of that. So. Uh, the model and serial number are on three of the sides. Again, rolling it over. And this is a little bit unnecessary with the bookshelf speakers, but clearly a very, very good idea with the larger floor standing speakers. But we'll follow their instructions. We'll turn them over and we'll open them from the bottom. Now they're taped closed with that sort of fabric paper tape. And so you have to cut right across its surface. Now, when trimming them, please obviously be careful not to, uh, not to let the knife drag too deep. And because these are also stapled, there's really no elegant way of that next step. You've got to rip them open. And as I've uh, said many times in previous videos, if they're stapled closed, the next first step is to grab those staples and get rid of them. There is nothing worse than potentially hurting or cutting yourself on them, but worst of all, damaging your new investment by dragging the speaker over a, uh, a sharp staple. Looking at it, this end, you'll see that there's an oversized bag encasing the entire speaker, and a hint of some of the accessories in the bottom. The reason they suggest that you open it from the bottom is so that you can then take the box and lift it off the speaker. And the process is very straightforward, with nothing left. The box itself is sealed at the top, again with just a little bit of packing tape. Now, they've gone to elaborate lengths as far as the protection of these speakers, with a huge amount of additional um, foam around them. Look at the depth of it, it's you know, 50 centimeters of, sorry, 50 millimeters of foam. And that's to ensure that no matter how aggressive some carrier might be, these speakers are going to end up uh, to you in one piece. I mean, just look, brilliant to see that they've made such an excellent, excellent effort. Obviously, to one side, we've got the drill. It's held in place with some tape. And if we pause for a moment, We'll just nick that card and get in there. The grill is in a uh, small bag. Lots of tape holding everything closed. The grill is modest in size because of course the speaker itself is relatively small. It's rigid using some of those new plastic materials. It's acoustically transparent, and the magnets, the six magnets that hold it on, are also then uh, covered with um, a little foam pads to ensure that the speaker can't, uh, sorry, the grill can't rattle. The speaker, probably easiest if we then roll it over, is protected by a cloth bag. And taking the oversized plastic bag off the top, 
we get to first see some of the small accessories. There's very little information as far as sort of user manual and things inside, but it does have the bump on rubber feet if it's sitting on a surface. The bottom of the speaker is protected by a piece of sort of um, polished cloth. And looking at the bottom, it's pre-tapped for Paradigm's matched stands. Moving it around, you get a real sense for the uh, weight of the speaker. And again, despite its size, it's brilliantly well made. And with that, very heavy. The speaker is then protected by a cloth bag, black on the outside and white on the inside. Ideal for their gloss finish, but this beautiful and probably my favourite walnut finish is what we're having a look at today. And again, looking at the speaker, we see a couple of familiarities, but a couple of departures from previous models. They've utilised a, a front fascia, so sort of bolted on the front, giving the cabinet its job of managing air and bringing the speaker to an appropriate height. And obviously um, standing waves, we'll, we'll get into that as far as their angles. But you'll see that the tweeter appears to be recessed and in some sort of cone. Now that's to ensure that it has uh, not only time alignment with the mid-bass driver, but also the ability to disperse the higher frequencies very, very well in the room, increasing um, uh, a sense of sound stage and an effortlessness in its operation. The tweeter itself is protected by the now iconic sort of um, dome. Uh, it has microscopic little wee uh, holes drilled towards the centre. The centre itself is actually covered and that's to avoid any of the natural resonant issues that domes can have. And then it tapers to larger holes and please hang around for some photographs so that we can see. This sort of cone or recess is, is uh, semi-rubberized, I guess is the best description. It's a little bit sort of soft and rubbery to the touch. It's to ensure that the direct reflection of certain frequencies is also managed. The mid-bass driver is not only protected, but also behind one of these disbursement plates. Now, again, the texture, holes, and all of the elaborate um, finish that you see in it, even the curve inwards, is beautifully engineered for the uh, response of the drive unit, and again, to stop any potential resonance, and to ensure that you get accurate disbursement of sound into the space. This cover was first invented for uh, Paradigm's Persona range, and we all know how beautiful yet expensive they are, so it's wonderful to see that trickling down into a very, very affordable bookshelf speaker. This sort of black steel frame gives a lovely appeal to it, and it gives the sense of um, a breaking up, I guess, of the design, as it, the black on the wood grain gives a lovely appeal visually. Tilting it forward, you'll see the elaborate nature of the cabinetry to ensure that there's a tapering effect. The, the sort of bending and tapering, and it's on all angles, ensures that there's very little direct reflection off the cabinet itself, adding rigidity to the cabinet, but also managing the reflection and other issues that cabinets themselves can have. Looking at the side, you'll see a tapering down as well, again to ensure that the cabinet is beautiful as far as its ability to grip and grasp, uh, sorry, manage the reflection, and with that, the sound grip and grasp, all of those things are central. You'll see at the back it's ever so slightly tapered as well, wider at the base and thinner at the top, and it gives it these, the sort of, um, it gives it a sense that perhaps it's a little bit smaller, like an, uh, its footprint looks smaller from angles, and so it's more acceptable into most people's living rooms. I've introduced rhodium binding posts, and it's again wonderful to see the trickle down of such good connections in such an affordable speaker. The speaker itself is by wireable, and so with that it's got the uh, rhodium uh, bridging clip. Above the binding post, and they're the five-way binding posts, we've got the founder's information associated with it and the Paradigm logo, and then of course the port that you would expect. At the base we have an emulation of the serial number. Again looking at the side we focus on the tapering, and to the front we see again that beautiful, beautiful finish that is iconic now in this Founders range. Okay, so there we have it. Paradigm's brand new Founders 40 bookshelf speakers, unboxed here at the Listening Post in Christchurch, New Zealand. Thanks for watching. 
If you want to see more, subscribe to our channel.